Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I have here is um, a triangle that has been cut into two separate triangles. And those both sep those separate triangles are 30, 60, 90 triangles. You can see here I have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here I have a 30, 60. And then since this is 90, I know that I can say that's 90 degrees as well. Now, when trying to determine for our missing values x and y, this can be very confusing. Um, this can, and actually, I even have a larger triangle as well. I have a 90 degree, another larger 90 degree, if I wanted to figure out what you know, this side of length was. But we're not concerned about that right now. That's just me going off on a tangent. But if I want to solve for x and y here, the best thing that I would do um, is, rather than trying to get confused with all these triangles, is just separate them into two separate smaller triangles. So I have this one, and I have this one. Right? Now, for this triangle, we have x, y. 30 degrees, 6 degrees. So really, we have no information right, for this triangle. Um, over here, the only information I have is my hypotenuse is 7. That's 60 degrees, and that's 90, and that's x. Um, so at least for this larger triangle, we have the hypotenuse, right? Um, and we want to find the shorter leg. Now, let's just go and write an arbitrary 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And let's kind of review of what, if we have the short leg is x, then to go to the hypotenuse is 2x. To go to the long leg, it's x squared of 3. So if I have the hypotenuse, and I, so to go from the short leg to the hypotenuse, I multiply by square root of 2. So if I want to go from the hypotenuse to the short leg, I have to divide by the square root of 2. So x is simply just equal to 7 divided by 2. So guess what? That equals 7 divided by 2. Um, now, notice though, this is where it gets pretty fun. So I have 7 divided by 2, right? Now, 7 divided by 2, um, we're going to leave that actually as a fraction. Um, now, here I have, now this is the long leg, and that is the short leg. Notice how that's the short leg, that's the long leg, right? Short legs with the 60, between 90 and 60. So to go from the short leg to the long leg, I multiply by the square root of 3. So to go from the long leg to the short leg, long leg to the short leg, I have to divide by the square root of 3. So y equals 7 halves divided by 1 um, divided by the square root of 3. Now I know it, some of you might say, oh, why don't I just use decimals, right? Forget decimals. Just multiply by the reciprocal. OK, that goes to 1. So you're left with, I can probably turn this so it, you can see it. 7 over 2 square root of 3. Then I just rationalize the denominator. My final answer is 7 square root of 3 over 3 times 3 is 3, 6. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, um, of this special triangle, our x value is 7 square root of 2, our x, and our y value is 7 square root of 3 um, divided by 6. Uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine um, your sides of your Triangle. Thanks.